Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another fragrance review. This time we're gonna try out the new Tom Ford fragrance, Beau de Jour. Uh, it's French and it means beauty by day. And this is a re-release. This fragrance was released uh, last year actually with the same name and they did a re-release this year. I don't really know why, but maybe it didn't sell good. I don't know. And I'm gonna tell you why I got really surprised the first time I smelled this fragrance. Let's start the video. If we start with the presentation, we have the bottle right here. And as you see, it's a very clean, simple 80s type of looking bottle. It's a see-through bottle with the silver emblem, Tom Ford. And the liquid is um, like yellowish, greenish type. And it looks basically like a 80s bottle. Very simplistic, but very elegant and stylish. If we're going into the sillage of this fragrance, it's really good in the first one to one and a half hours, on my skin at least. Uh, then it sits a little bit closer to your skin, but people around you can still smell it. And I think it's better than average performance on this one. Uh, it's not overly intensive. It's not overwhelming. Uh, so it, it's not that sticky, you know, it's not uh, piercing to people, they don't get offended by this fragrance, not in my uh, research at least. So this is a good thing. Um, you know, you get one, I think one or two meters of silage, I think, with this fragrance, I've noticed. So it's not super, super loud. It's just right for this type of fragrance, I think. So over... I don't know if from, from 1 to 10, I think the silage might be a 7, 7.5 maybe. I already have the dry down here and now I'm gonna spray a little bit so, you, so I can smell the uh, fresh opening again. So uh, let's put some fragrance here on my left arm. Yeah, I um, I'm speechless, guys. I, I don't know um, what I'm gonna say. This is, now I've smelled it. I've tried this fragrance out throughout this day and uh, yesterday as well. I wore it the whole day, I smelled it. And my first impression on the smell, it's, it's open up with a heavy mint slash lavender uh, opening, basically. It's very fresh, very clean. It has a little bit of that cleaning type of scent in the opening. So for some people, it could smell a little bit too much, like in the first 3.7 seconds when you smell it. Because it's very, a little bit piercing in the opening. And when I first smelled it, I, I thought to myself, oh, not another Fougere type of fragrance. Oh, this is gonna smell like an old man again and stuff like that. And I wasn't that, pleased with the opening. I thought it's gonna smell like the old old fragrances, the Serge of Om or something like that, or uh, maybe the Floris Elite fragrance that it has a typical old smelling uh, type of scent. But then something happened. This fragrance is not at all a linear type of fragrance, guys. So don't get fooled by the opening because it's a very mature opening. It has that little bit of an old smell to it, that 70s, 80s vibe to this fragrance. But I have to dry down here. This is a dry down from one hour. And it's, uh, I, I just think this is amazing dry down, you know. After 3.5 minutes, you know, it, it goes down, it, they, they get some little bit more creamy type of scent to it then it uh, goes down to the um, heavier dry down and then you get the oak moss and also a bit of basil and <coughs> what's and uh, rosemary i think is in the fragrance as well but usually when you have this basil rosemary and oak moss in a fragrance I feel that it's a very, very old type of scent. But this is not, not at all that for me. This is a more youthful take of a mature 
fougere type of fragrance from the 70s or 80s. You know? So don't get fooled by the opening, it gets better, I promise. This is not a linear type of fragrance. To, to describe this feeling, what this smells like, guys, I had a, uh, had a film in mind that I saw a couple of years back that I really love this movie. It's called A Good Year. It's with Russell Crowe in the um, leading role in this movie. And I'm gonna put in a clip here in the video, guys, so you can see a little bit the surroundings I'm talking about. I'm speechless right now, so I just play this clip so you can see what I mean. Even though this is a mature type of scent, I don't see this as a typical stiff um, suit type of fragrance, you know. I don't see this as a suit and tie type of fragrance. I see this as a mature fragrance, 100%. This is a mature smell, but it's a mature, casual, elegant type of scent, you know. It's not the slobby, you can't wear this with a hoodie if you're 18 years old. Just forget it, guys. Don't do that. It's not gonna fit this fragrance at all. But if you are like 70 years old, you can wear this with a button-down shirt, with a hat, when you're just strolling. You don't be like super dressed, you don't have to be super dressed up when you wear this fragrance. You can be chilled, but this is mostly a summer, spring type of fragrance. Uh, for me, this smells like, as I said now a hundred times, the lavender fields in uh, France, Provence, uh, yeah, it's amazing. Of course, guys, it's a Tom Ford fragrance and most Tom Ford fragrances are really expensive and this is not an exception. For a 50 milliliter bottle, you have to pay around 100 to 120 dollars for a little bottle. And um, it's pricey. I know, guys, it's a, it's a pricey fragrance, but I can guarantee you this is a high quality juice in this fragrance. And if you love this lavender type, a little bit mature type of scent with oak moss and that type of notes in there. I think this is totally worth it if you have the money to spend on this type of fragrance. Beautiful sp spring summer fragrance, awesome. It's a mature scent but also really casual. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. It's old but modern smelling type of fragrance. It's nothing for the teenagers, I think. This is a fragrance that you uh, want to wear when you're 30 years and up. I think from 30 till you die you can wear this fragrance basically. So it's a very mature scent, but it has a modern touch to it because it doesn't smell only like the old 70s, 80s type of fragrances. So you can have it both when you are casually dressed, I think, and a little bit dressed up, but it's not a typical boring youth, uh, boring suit and tie type of fragrance. Okay, so for me it's a spring summer fragrance. I don't think this would perform that good in the winter. I don't know, I could be wrong there, but uh, I think this is more a summery, fresh type of fragrance with a really mature twist of the oak moss, basil, and uh, the lavender mixed up. It smells like Provence, it smells like the hopeful lavender fields, the wine yards, the lavender field, all that that vibe, you know. That's what this fragrance is uh, giving me. I get all, all uh, excited, so <laughs> sorry if this is a blabbering type of review, but I really would suggest you, if you are 30 years and up and watching this video, buy a sample of this Tom Ford Bodejour fragrance, try it out, try it for a couple of days and don't get don't get scared of the opening if it's too mature for your typical type of uh, scent, what you like. Because me, I don't really like this mature type of old scent either. Not at all, guys. I'm, I'm more like a fresh, clean type of guy, as you might know with uh, if you see my videos. But this one, this one really surprised me because it's it's both. It is fresh and clean. I love the lavender notes in this, but it's also mature. I can wear it. I know I, I can wear this when I'm 70, but I can also wear it now when I'm 33 years old. So, once again, 
I don't know. I, I just think this is a 10 out of 10 for me. Thanks for watching this review, guys. Hope this video gave you some information of how this fragrance smells and you get a better understanding if you are in buyer's thoughts and you're looking to buy this fragrance. And take care of yourself and I see you guys in the next video. Ciao.